Hey guys, it's Katie with Factory Direct Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to make these wooden rocking chairs. What you're going to need for this project is you're going to need clothespins, and it takes 14 clothespins to make one chair, and a hot glue gun. And that's it! So once you have your supplies, let's go ahead and get started. So before we can start building our rocking chair, we have to pull apart our clothespins. So they're really easy to actually detach. You just gotta twist the bottoms and the metal piece will come off. So you can just discard the metal piece and put the two wooden pieces aside for now. And you're gonna need 14 clothespins to do this project. So now that I've detached all the metal pins, we're ready to start putting this thing together. So I'm gonna start by making the four anchors of our rocking chair. So to do that, you need to take um, two halves and we're gonna glue them together, flat side touching flat side, just like this. So I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and run a line right down the center. And stick them together. And I'm gonna go ahead and make four of these. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and make the rockers for the bottom of the chair. So to do that, we're going to go flat side. Um, flat sides are both going to be facing uh, down. So we're going to attach the side with the bubble on it to the flat side of this one. So I'm going to run my hot glue right down here. like so. You can see it creates kind of a curved shape. So I'm going to do one more of those. And now we have the two rockers. The next piece we're going to make is the back of the seat. So for this we're going to need five clothespins. So we're going to start with two and they're going to be, the curvy side is going to be laying down. So you have flat side face up and we're going to attach three pegs going across like this. So I'm just going to take my hot glue, I'm going to draw a line down both sides and I'm going to connect them to my seat back. And like I said, I'm going to do this three times. like that and that's our seat back and now I'm going to make our actual seat so to do this we need to start putting some of the pieces together so I'm going to take these four that serve as our base and we're going to start connecting them so I'm going to lay two of them down like this and we're going to use one flat side down to connect them together I'm going to go ahead and run a little drop of hot glue down both sides. And we're going to connect them right below 
the little cut on the wood. Just like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this piece. Putting hot glue down both sides and connecting it right below the notch on the wood. Now we're going to link these two together by using another clothespin side. So you're going to do the same thing, hot glue down the sides. I'm going to stand this up and place it even with the peg connecting the two. And same here. Just like that. And now I'm going to do one more on the other side to make it nice and sturdy. So there's our base. Now we need to make a seat cushion of sorts. So to do that, I'm gonna run a line of hot glue down three more pieces of clothespin. And we're just gonna run that right down. The center. Just like that. And now we're going to add our armrests. So I'm gonna take two more halves and I'm gonna secure them together just like we did for the base of our chair. So I'm just gonna apply that hot glue right down the middle. And make this. Same with the other. And these are our armrests. like that. And I'm going to attach these with the dot of hot glue on both sides. And place them on top. Now comes the fun part which is adding the other two main pieces to our chair body. So I'm gonna start with the rockers. Now to attach this, I'm gonna flip this upside down and I'm gonna put hot glue on all four legs. And I'm going to attach it to the flat side of the rocker. Just like that. And now I'm going to add the back of my chair. And to do this, I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue right at the bottom. And set it along the back. Just like so. So now once your glue dries, you just pull off the little strings that are left and you have this super cute um, doll chair ready to be enjoyed. Kids um, love this project. If they're doing it, I suggest using white glue instead of hot glue. Um, they'll just need to give the pieces time to dry before they assemble them. Um, but it's a super great project to do with kids and they turn out looking super cute. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a lot of fun.